welcome back to another episode of Historical Recreations. Today we'll be creating, yes, Madame Lolita's head in a glass jar. Now, if you've never read this book, it is the Haunted Mansions book by Jeff Baham. I have done a book review and it is on my Historical Recreation site. So check it out. It is an excellent book and I highly recommend it. I gave it five out of five stars. But the artwork on the front cover of this book inspired me to create something. So I'm bringing over this bath bomb that I got at a dollar store. I just put it on the little tape thing to inspire and this little dolly. You can see we're going to use her head and put it inside of this bath bomb and make one of the coolest Christmas ornaments we have ever made here on Historical Recreations. And for those of you who love gothic things, this one is sure to inspire. Let's go. I'm going to show you the size of the doll's head compared to my fingers. Um, this is a dollar store dolly and we have a lot of work to do on her. We have to take the head off and we have to transform the hair. And then we also have to do the face and all the makeup. We're going to be using very small brushes on her. And she's going to look something like that under a dome when we get done. Now to fill the interior of the dome, we have got some very special Christmas cotton material that's usually put underneath a Christmas tree. And we are going to create the perfect haunted mansion Madame Leota crystal ball. As unusual as it is, her head just came right off. Now I have to go in the back and oh, there it is. We have got a rubber band right there. Do you see the rubber band? Yeah, we have a rubber band right there. And we are going to trim very carefully that rubber band off. One. We know there's another one over here. This is number two. Very careful, you don't want to cut the hair. Just the band. There you go. And wow, already our little doll is transforming right in front of our eyes. Look at that, she looks more and more like Madame Leota instantly. That. Okay, get that band out of there. So we are in stage one of the transformation. We are in stage one of the transformation. So we'll just pull that hair down and we're going to twist and tease this hair out so it's going to look very cool inside of the dome. Okay. That took quite a bit of teasing. I've been pulling on this now for several minutes to create a hairstyle that's going to fill the interior of our oops, bald spot of our dome. Now, while that's in session, let's now work on our bath bomb. Okay, so let's start taking off this wrapper. Ooh. Nice. And we have a bath bomb inside. Boom. There it is. And lucky for me, it's completely coated also in plastic. I'm going to give that to a very special daughter of mine that wanted it. And there we have the perfect Christmas ornament. It's even frosted, so it's great. that head's going to look even really, really cool in there. As soon as I opened that bath bomb, the whole entire studio smelled like fragrance. I, today I'm using a number titanium white 901, and I'm using a lilac. This is kind of a hard color to find. It's a 942, but we're going to be using this for the makeup for the face so let's mix this up and make a really good covering okay so we want to use at least all of the white i'm going in with just a dop of the lavender there it 
there. This is the color that I was looking for right here. The lightest. There's even some more white in there. Pallid. I want a really, really pallid color. Okay. Now, with my more smaller and more detail brush, I'm going to start doing the face now. Being very careful not to get the hair. So you can paint right over the eye eyebrows, but I'm not going to get rid of the eyes nor the lips. We want to enhance those. So let me do the face completely first. Then when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. I am just giving you a close up of what we had done so far. I had put on two or three layers of the light lavender over the little doll's face over here and just very lightly smoothing it out and trying to get as close to the eyes as possible because now we're going to be putting a lot of eye makeup on her. We're going to be doing up the lips red and then we have to do the hair. While all this is going on, I'm going to take a very, very, very fine triple O brush that I have in my collection over here and I'm going to blend in with my colors some eyeshadow for her eyes. We want it just enough that it appears over the eyes. So let's go in here and apply the eyeshadow. Does that emphasize? So I'm using the darker lavender at the top and the lighter lavender down below. Wow. Okay. Now I'm also bringing in another color number 649, which is a very rich violet color. We are going to do another transformation over here. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. This very dark, 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 dark color over here is the 649. We're pulling this in for our eyeshadow. Fusion here today. Whoa. I'm going to be using the intensity of the purple and going right underneath the eyes.
if you've ever seen the gothic channel black friday she does a lot of makeup tutorials so i watched her she applied her makeup wow what a difference now also on this doll we want to add some color I would say to the sides of her nose to emphasize the shape and the size of the nose. Talk about transformation, huh? Okay, so let's now put the eyeliner, uh, the eye, eye brows back in, I should say. I'm still using the same, the same purple. nerve-wracking using such a tiny brush wow okay let's do the lips so for lips today, I'm using an alpha number 919 Chinese red. So let's do a dot of that. Now we want to paint the lips more like the book cover. So Teeth are going to just vanish. Wow, what a difference. Now comes a very interesting part. We are going to be doing the hair today. I'm using the titanium white. I have a small bucket of water and I have my mixing tray. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying the paint over here. And this is going to be a messy process. I'm not very, everyone's going to enjoy this, but some people will get a kick out of this. I'm dopping this with my fingers using a little bit of water. I'm going to be working this now into her hair. Now I'm going back in with a, a soft brush and I'm going to get close. So now we are in stage one of producing our heads. Let's let this dry for 24 hours and see what it looks like in the morning. Okay, so what happened was I had applied the acrylic paint to the hair twice. What it had done was it made it rock solid. Uh, the second thing is that it absorbed the plastic doll hair absorbed the acrylic 
paint. Now maybe your dolly that you're using has the same problem. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm using a number uh, 316 white spray paint. So I'm going to go out and spray this down. Now you can see I taped up the face over here with some a uh, little bit of masking tape and let's spray this dolly's head down and see what the hair comes out like. Now comes the best part of my tutorial today. I had opened up my case that I had. I had touched up her face so it was perfect before we put her into her new home. And I also have this Christmas white snowy stuff that you put on the Christmas tree. So let's now combine all of these to put her in there. I'll be taking a little bit of this uh christmas cotton i guess you'd call this christmas cotton we have everything here at the prop shop and we're going to be putting that cotton inside of our two domes here and then setting her face up right so her little head just went right in there really really nice and you know what's so really great is that we used the acrylic paint and her hair is frozen perfectly in place so there was a bit of a learning experience here with a cool elements so i'm gonna pack a little bit more of our ghostly smoke around her yeah okay all the yes 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 all right here we go putting on the cover and the cover should be frosted just adds a whole new layer of mystery now if your uh cover is not frosted you can always check out my tutorials on how to frost. Plastic. This is one of the more cooler, incredible ornaments that I have ever made. I just absolutely adore it. Uh, was it worth it? Absolutely. Doing all the hair and stuff like that. This is going to be an excellent, excellent gift for somebody.